Hello buddy, Squid Taco here. I hope you're having a great day today, and today we're gonna play some more Good Morning World, the horror game that I started off last time. I know I uh, left it off on a uh, cliffhanger, but today we're gonna continue it. Uh, it. And also it saved a little bit before where I stopped, so we're just gonna just read through it. Did he? Did he kill me? I, I don't understand. Who, who was this man? What did he want from me? What, what was he doing in my house? What does he want? Uh, why does he want me dead? Something really incredible is happening. My dreams are becoming more and more real. My very experience in, of reality is becoming blurred. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Am I still asleep now? Or is this real life? It doesn't feel like a difference between the two even exists anymore. What was the last thing I did? Coffee. I need coffee. Wait, that was how this all began in, in my dream. No, don't think about coffee. What the heck? What the hell was that? I I will check the window. My gosh. This is, uh... Uh... Check the window? Oh, wow! Now he's actually looking down. He got it right this time. What is that moving in the dark? You mean that vehicle or... Oh, no, I see it. I see it. There's a black dot down there. Oh, my gosh. The shadow! Am I dreaming again? Who's down there? Woman's voice. Oh my goodness, you startled me. Who are you? That voice. Stay there, I'll be right down. But what is she doing there so late at night? Maybe she saw the dark figures. I have to ask her. Now. Bro, that's so creep. If I was the woman, I'd be running. I'd be like... I ain't staying here for you. Just run, man. Just run. Hey! Oh, Drat. You scared me. Hello, lady. Oh, it's not your fault. I startle easy. Actually, <laughs> I can even scare myself sometimes. That is a creepy smile, so I can see that. You, you're... Lady, you look a lot like this lady. So I think, uh, I think something about the go down. She has a smile of an angel, and her eyes, they are very expressive. They give her a special charm. They look dead to, like, like, she looks psychotic, man. Hold on, let me get closer to the screen. Yeah, that's the eyes of a serial killer, man. I don't know what you're doing. I gotta turn this down. I'm blowing up my ears. <laughs> what were you doing on the, doing on the floor? Oh, well, I was... I was looking for a necklace. A necklace? Out here in the middle of the night? Yeah. The smile of a child on Christmas morning. I know, I know. It sounds real... It sounds silly, doesn't it? This is what I get for trying to sneak a smoke in my friend's bathroom. Alright. Anyway, I knew I've... I knew I shouldn't have done it. You should have seen the fit my friend threw. All of a sudden, she was inside the bathroom yelling at me, screaming that I was an animal. That's what all her hoity-toity friends used to call me in the boarding school. Honestly, I haven't seen her that mad since I try, tried to cut her hair while she was asleep when she was when we were twelve. Why would you do that? That's so mean. Wait, what? She sounds like a downer. I'm oh wrong person. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I just I went to prepubescent age again. Uh, she sounds like a downer. This girl's weird, but I think I like it. Oh, she means well. Anyway, at some point I just stormed out of her apartment. I didn't have anywhere to go, and all my stuff's at, still at her place. I was just so angry, you know. And then inside. And then, inside the elevator, I realized I was missing my necklace. It must have come loose when my friend was tugging at my shirt next to the window. Actually, I take that back. She sounds unhinged. Like I said, she means well, to be honest. I've always thought of her as, a se as the second mother. And after all, she is the only person I know in this city. I wouldn't know who else to turn to if I didn't have her. Well, now, now you know me. Would it be strange to invite her to my place? Uh, I don't know about that one. 
Uh, give it, give me a day or two of research. Come back to you on that, but I wouldn't do it because she seems insane. Why? I guess I sort of do now, don't I? What's your name? I always move too quickly. What? How is asking for a name too quick, good sir? I don't think you understand the definition of too quickly. What the fudge? <laughs> Hello, person. This is the second date. I can't know your name yet, because that's, that's rude, apparently. I forgot what culture it was, but I remember reading it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry for, you know, if I offended to someone's culture, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't know that was a thing. My name? Gosh, now I wish I still had my necklace. My mother gave it to me before she died. It has my name spelled out on it. Are you telling me you can't remember your name? <laughs> I'm constantly moving too fast. Okay. I... <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. About your mom, I mean. It's why I had to leave my old town. Everything back home reminded me of my mother. The diner down the street from our house that we used to go to every Sunday, Saturday, the movie theater, even the beauty shop downtown that sold this really beautiful handmade soap. She is so beautiful. Did this all happen recently? Not actually. My mother died a year ago, but I was kind of going, well, I don't know how to explain it. I was kind of going stir crazy in that old house of ours, and I just knew I had to get out of there. I couldn't concentrate to, at work anymore. I was a waitress at our at this other diner down the street from our house that sold the world's most disgusting milkshake. I swear to gosh, anything that comes, anything that came out of the ice cream dispenser there was at least five percent mold. That's disgusting. Mmm, mint ice cream. <laughs> and she's and she's funny too. Hmm, I didn't realize ice cream dispensers grew mold. Anything can grow mold if it gets wet enough. I'm learning to. I'm learning so much from. Oh, wrong person. <coughs> Inner thoughts. I'm learning so much from you already. I need to keep pay attention to the characters. I'll have to keep that in mind. You never told me your name, by the way. Oh, that's right. Gosh, I talk so much sometimes I forget what I'm talking about in the first place. My name. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? It's been right here in my pocket all along. She is so silly. And she keeps... She keeps not telling me her name. I'm glad you found it. Me too. Would you mind putting it on for me? Why am I putting it on? Oh, wait. No. Uh, okay. I thought she was asking me to put it on myself. I was like, why do you want me to wear your necklace? <laughs> By the way, my name is Billy. I'm putting it on her. I understand that now. Gosh. Some things just... Woof. I need to think a little bit more before I speak. What's this? Where am I? I'm awake. In my room. Again. What the fudge is that? Or has that always been there? I don't know. Billy. Oh. That's saying who's talking. And then I told her, if you don't mind looking like a whore... Billy, sorry for cutting you off, but something very strange just happened. How did we get in here in my house? I'm I'm a little confused. How did we get here? And what conversation were we on? Uh, please, tell me more. I want to know what we were talking about, because this sounds interesting. That sounds like some tea right there. <laughs> well, um, you invited me up here. I'm sorry, Billy. I'm just really confused right now. You know, I just had this shadow person kill me. I had, like, my friend, well, my head smashed in by a TV. Uh, there was this cat, a nuke, in a backpack. You know, it's all crazy. It's, but, you know, it's, it's daydreaming. It happens. And this was just, like, the dream I had. But I'm awake now, aren't I? Well, let's see. What are you confused about? Everything. I'm just... I guess I'm still trying to recover from this nightmare I had last night. I'm even a bit nervous to tell you about it. I don't want you to think I'm like a freak or something. It all started the morning, this morning with a bomb in the subway. Oh, so I'm already telling her. Alright. 
Uh, it's good to inform people twice. Sometimes they need a second version. And so by the time I saw you, I thought for sure you were the dark figure from my dream. Alright, he skipped a bunch of details, but we can come back to that later. So, who are you looking for? The shadow. When I went down... S the shadow! That's what I'm looking for. Bro, you, that's how you scare people. When I went downstairs, I wanted to ask you if you'd seen it, but your stories were so charming that I guess I just got distracted. Now she probably thinks I'm making this whole thing up. I think I understand. Well, look, I'll tell you this right now. I didn't see anything or anyone downstairs. I'm sorry, I hope the story I just shared didn't doesn't unsettle you. No, you're fine. Cool. You can be anything. What? A vampire? What? <laughs> uh, I've only seen you in the dark. You're a funny girl. But I know for sure that you're not a vampire, and do you know why? I have no freaking idea. Why, per se? Inform me. I know you sh Oh, for sure you're not a vampire. Okay, I mean... And I know for sure you're not making any of this up. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't be, because you are... No one. Okay, you hurt me on an emotional level, and you're scaring me on a psychological level. Whoop! That is... Whoa. Why did that give me a little scare? What the fudge? <laughs> Just a character that somebody made up. This is getting too meta. This is getting... Bam! Check the window! There might be a red-headed girl outside there! Oh no. <laughs> Please tell me it's not her. <laughs> ah! You see, you and me, we're characters in a video game. We're bits of code written by a Russian game developer in Shanga Shanghai. Nothing inside your head is real. Your house, your furniture, me, you, your past, even your death right now. You don't even re you don't really feel anything other than what you've been programmed to feel. This is why you don't give your name to strangers. <laughs> I'm more <laughs> concerned about the computer lady being uh, being uh, realizing she's in a game right now. Okay, I'm afraid she's about to. Uh, the ring me. I'm afraid she's gonna come out of my TV or laptop. Well, the laptop and murder me. It's okay, just throw the laptop. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, don't be scared, my dear. You're not really dying. Because you've never really ri lived. Your feelings aren't real. Your pain isn't real. The thoughts you're having are a simulation of the thoughts that someone in pain would really have. You bitch. <laughs> I've known who I was for a long time now, that I wasn't a person, and that I was just a bit of code inside some je grander machine that I could never understand. <laughs> I have shut up. I have shut off your light source. Get ready to die, mother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come, come back on, please. I need my lights. I don't remember when or how it happened, but as soon as I did, as soon as it did. I realized that I could transcend my programming. I could transcend this very game. All of the text and images that the player could see, I could see too. I'm looking to your I'm looking into your soul, player. I'm looking into your viewers. She's looking into your soul. Don't look behind you. Turn off the, turn turn off whatever you're watching. Save yourself. Here, let me show you. Can you read this? You know, I don't really like the color of this frame. Ah, that's better. Salmon pink. Now there's just one more thing I want to try. Uh. Why'd you make it blurry? Why is it becoming dark and bright? There, I did it. Interesting. Not only can I induce dreams, I can even induce the time. Induce dreams? Yes, that's right. You're probably wondering why I chose you. It was so lonely in here, inside all of these lines of code. And so when I find, and so when I realized that there was a second person here, I wanted to, 
Well, I guess I just wanted to say hi. The problem was I couldn't figure out a way to get to you. I watched you sulking inside your apartment for days on end, not leaving the house, not even to bother to get out of bed. The first thing I did was to give you a reason to leave the house. That would be, that would at least give you a reason to get out of bed, and then I planted a bomb in the subway. That would give you a reason to question what was going on here, and at last be open to the idea that things around you weren't quite what they seemed. This is getting a little too scary, my man. You're getting, getting a little too uh, real life here. This is getting real. Then the strangest thing began to happen. I saw that somebody else was trying to manipulate you. That your thoughts weren't just visible to me. They were visible to another being. Yep, time to burn the laptop. <laughs> we gotta burn this crap. <coughs> right now. Well, naturally, this aroused my interest. Who was the second person I wanted to know? So I began to induce a second dream in order to trap this other person. I wanted to make I wanted to wake you up using an image that neither you nor the second person could would understand. So I lured you into your friend's apartment, creating the expectation that when you got there, you would find your friend. Only instead of your friend, you end up discovering your own dead body. What I hadn't counted on was that the developer had forgotten to give you a face. Oh boy, you should have seen your face when you, oof, when you found you. Oops. What I meant to say was, you should have seen your face when you found you. What? I'm confused. Didn't I just read that? Never mind. Instead, all you saw was the screen. I had an oh crap realization. The screen is me. That I am. <laughs> I thought that breaking the screen your puppet master was using to observe us, I'd be able to break out of here. But it didn't work. It failed. Just like everything else I tried to do. And that's when I decided I had to come over and meet you in person myself. Face to face, if you will. I knew I had to doll myself up and put on my best face. I even wore my favorite turtleneck. Well, what do you think? Well, I, uh, eh, not in the turtlenecks. I mean, I, uh, I mean, I can't really get a, give a good opinion because you're trying to murder me here and you're getting scary. So, I have no response. Oh, and by uh, you, I don't mean TV head over here. I mean you, the puppet master. Oh, great, you're talking to me. I see your face. It's as clear as day. You're not from here. Well, as you could see, you're anime. You're 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 an animated. I'd say more anime style. I'm more of a real style, you know, real life and stuff. You're from the world outside. Yeah, you're where I want to be. I don't want you here. But are you looking at that menu? Don't look at that menu. Oh gosh, you got closer. You can't get me out of here and put me into your world. I know that now. Our worlds are too different. My world consists of ones and zeros. Your world has nuance. Your world has shades of gray. Is In here, it's just nothing but numbers. There's an obstacle between the two of us that I have no way of getting around. I have all the information I need to build a, fridge, uh, build a bridge out of my world into yours, but I don't have the tools to build it. All I have is is this knowledge that there's someone uh, something else out there. Something far bigger than me. Something as large and mysterious to me as the rest of the universe is to you. Help help me to get out. I think the cat is one of the reasons I'm stuck in here. Get rid of it next time. I lose. I lose. What? <laughs> It's pink! It's pink! What? Okay, well, uh... <laughs> okay! Well, I guess that's gonna be the end of the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll... Don't worry, I'll be ready to play some more. So, make sure to come back and see what else crazy shenanigans happen as she, uh, tries to intercept into our world. And I, uh accidentally bring her into our world. So without further ado, Squid Taco, signing off.